Hello everyone, today's video is all about yeah, testing, unboxing and reviewing my new ND filter. Uh, uh, it's called Dolder ND filter X Pro and it's um, 10 f-stop ND filter. It's not adjustable like to yeah, 8 or 10, it's only 10 f-stop ND filter. Yeah, and I just want to review it and uh, test it and uh, if there's any uh, reduction in the sharpness of the photo and if there's any change in the color in the white balance of the photo yeah without a filter and with a filter and this is yeah the most important things in the filter is there's a reduction in the sharpness or yeah there's a change in the color and if it's the first time you yeah you hear something about nd filter nd filter it's all about uh, black glass and uh, this black glass yeah let us uh, have the ability to have a very slow shutter speed even if we take a photo in in sunlight uh, in a daylight in a sunny day uh, even if it's a sunny day you can have a shutter speed something like eight seconds and yeah that's yeah not possible at all without the ND filter so when you for example see photos of a moving clouds for example or yeah a moving water yeah when it's you can have yeah you can have a moving clouds and moving water when it's uh, for example so dark and so moody cloudy days you can have that but when there's when it's sunny day and there's a lot of light that's yeah not not possible without any filter before going and testing this filter i just want to say thank you very much to the hundred subscribers yeah yesterday i had a notification from youtube said yeah congrats you had your first uh, hundred subscriber yeah i know hundred is not yeah that big number but that really means a lot to to the beginner in youtube yeah 100 subscriber is i would say yeah i would describe it like like the first step for me and yeah and if you are watching this video and you are not a, a subscriber i i hope you can yeah make my second step with your subscription so just i want to say thank you very much and let's go and test this filter i will try to take a photo here um just yeah i want to i want to use this uh, small uh, yeah i don't know what it's called uh, i want to use it yeah and compose it with the lake and with the use of my nd filter yeah the the clouds yeah will look nice hopefully So I will take two photos uh, now, the first photo without ND filter and the second photo with the ND filter yeah, and I will um, yeah, compare the sharpness between, oh, I will compare the sharpness between uh, the two photos, the both photos and yeah, see if, the, if yeah, my ND filter reduces the sharpness of the photo. So after taking these two photos, let's compare them in Lightroom. So as you can see here, this is the two photos. This is the first photo and this is the second photo. This is the photo without the ND filter. As you can see, one sixth of the second, F16 and ISO 100. And uh, this is the photo with the ND filter, 30 seconds, F8. I, sh I, yeah, I just yeah, put it F8 because I don't want to go after 30 seconds. More than 30 seconds, I need to, yeah, to have a remote and I didn't have a remote. I just want to, yeah, to stick with the 30 seconds and that's why I put the F stop to it. And um, let's, yeah, at the beginning, ignore that color change. As you can see, there's, yeah, you can see, obviously, there's a color change. And I am not totally sure that the color change is because of the filter or because of the clouds because yeah the light uh, condition was changing so fast and um, only in 10, sec in 10 seconds there's yeah, clouds and sunny and clouds and sunny and because there yeah it was um, uh, i would say it was uh, cloudy and it was also windy and yeah the clouds moving so fast and that's why only in 10 seconds yeah comes the clouds and the sun again so that's why and the photo is 30 seconds and that's why i made another two photos in a sunny day and i will show you at the end of this video so let's 
at the beginning yeah ignore the color change and let us see the sharpness of the both photos so this is the photo here without ND filter and F16 and I didn't made anything as you can see here yeah this is a raw file and I didn't made anything just I import this file and you are now watching the raw file I can for example just yeah take off the highlight and what we want now is yeah this place here because I was focusing here right here so I just want to make sure that the ND filter yeah made a reduction to the sharpness or not so uh, this is the photo with the ND filter and yeah I know it's F F8 and F8 is yeah give more sharpness than the F16 but yeah I mean yeah there's I, I can't see any let's compare it with so this is the photo here yeah right side is the photo without ND filter and the left side is the photo with the ND filter and I really yeah I can't I can't say there's a reduction in the sharpness I don't feel there's any reduction in the sharpness I know yeah this is with the filter is F8 and you yeah you may say F8 is yeah give more sharpness than the F16 but yeah by all means I don't yeah feel there's a reduction in the sharpness so the second thing I want to talk about is the yeah the change in white balance or the color I don't really know why there's yeah there's a change in the white balance you can see obviously this is the photo without the ND filter and uh, this is the photo with the ND filter and if I want to adjust this photo just to make it like this photo yeah I may just play with the white balance I think yeah and as you can see yeah the green color the green color is more saturated here with the ND filter yeah I think there's there's I would play with the tint and the temperature yeah just to make it look like this photo no that's yeah I would reduce I will also go back a little bit yeah now I can say I think now I can say that the photos are yeah are somehow the same mm. yeah you, and you can ignore the, the place here or the clouds and and the water here of the lake because yeah with the ND filter 30 second yeah and the, uh, the clouds and the water is moving so just ignore this area the colors will, will not yeah will not look the same and but I think I think there's yeah a little bit of color change between the photo without ND filter now it's look identical I think for me it's look identical now yeah yeah if we go back to the raw files not only the temperature I think there's only a change in the green in the green color here so these are the both photos I said yeah I would yeah I will take two photos in a sunny light and exactly the same conditions just to make sure yeah if there's a change in, in the colors or not and yeah unfortunately there's a change a change in the color and as you can see this is the first photo and it's 125 in the second F8 and ISO 100 and the second photo exactly the same F8 ISO 100 and 8 seconds shutter speed because of the ND filter and yeah the both photos are exactly the same the white balance is the same as you can see here and this photo here the white balance is exactly the same everything is the same the light condition is the same and the both photos yeah were taken exactly yeah the same time and uh, yeah, as you can see there's just yeah a little difference between the both, both photos if yeah if we zoom in here you can see uh, the change in the green color yeah here's the photo without uh, right side 
you have the photo without the ND filter and the left side the photo with the ND filter and I can say uh, there's a change in the color yeah I would say for me this is yeah, not a very big problem because I will adjust the white balance yeah, when I will edit the photo and when I will yeah, do uh, post-production that's why this is not a very big problem for me so after finding my best setting with the ND filter which, which is uh, 30 seconds and F uh, uh, 9.5 and ISO like always 100 I will try to make panoramas like this yeah I will compose this small uh, shape of wood and yeah I will compose it like this yeah I have to take off the ND filter because when I put it I can't see anything so I just make sure the focus is okay and I put the ND filter again I take the first photo So this was the photo for today and this was the video, I hope you like it. Yeah, as I said, yeah, the plan was going to the lake, but yeah, unfortunately I couldn't know that it's not allowed to go there. And I tried as much as I can from different places to go, but yeah, every time I feel that I am, yeah, I'm going to reach the lake, I find, yeah, something like that, which means, yeah, it's not allowed to go there. Thank you very much for watching this video if you like it and if you want to see other videos in the future, please subscribe and see you next week. Bye.